All right, everyone, welcome back. I've got another manga book here for you. This is volume one of Fire Force. As always, there's going to be spoilers, so if you don't want to get spoiled, feel free to watch this video at a later time. But uh, let's go ahead and look at the back here. And let's see what we've got. All right, so Fire Walk with me. The city of Tokyo is plagued with a deadly phenomenon, spontaneous human combustion. Luckily, a special team is there to quench the inferno. The Fire Force, the Fire, Sol the fire Soldiers at Special Fire Cathedral 8 are about to get a unique addition. Enter Shinra, a boy who possesses the power to run at the speed of a rocket, leaving behind the famous Devil's Footprints and destroying his shoes in the process. Can Shinra and his colleagues discover the source of this strange epidemic before the city burns to ashes? All right, so that is pretty much the synopsis of this particular volume and manga. Go ahead and take a look at the particular chapters here. So we got Shinra uh, Kusakabi joins the force. First run. The Devils, the Knight, and the what? And the Witch. The Heart of Fire Soldier, the Sinister Blasphemer, and the Rookie Fire Soldier Games. All right, so this particular manga is interesting. Reading this manga, it kind of reminded me of um, Ghostbusters. So the whole premise behind this is that you've got these individuals that go through some sort of hardship, and then you've got this um, internal essence, this... Uh, soul essentially this fire soul where it actually forces the individual to spontaneously combust uh now the best way i can describe that in the manga here so i'll um, go ahead and find the page here that kind of talks about it all right so this is the page that kind of talks about the spontaneous combustion so um the original first ways would ignite the victim essentially killing them but then they will later evolve into these spontaneous combustion like ghosts best way i can describe it and they would take control of their body and then they'll wreak havoc in the real world here and so their main job is to um, stop the fire soul that's within them so that way the person that was taken over by these combustion souls would be laid to rest. So they've got a very interesting job. So just like in uh, Ghostbusters, um, they basically call these guys blue stripes, meaning that they would go out and, you know, if it was a fire, the normal fire department in Tokyo would go out and take care of it. But if there's these uh, fire elements, the fire souls that uh, were the source of the problem, then they had to call the blue stripes. Um, to deal with the, the fire souls. And it's very interesting because each one of these uh, particular recruits, some of them have special abilities, others don't. And again, the manga kind of goes into detail with that. And we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Um, and the call within generation. So this is kind of the uh, Firehouse 8 or the Fire Cathedral 8. And so we've got the lieutenant here, second generation pyrotechnic. Takashi Hinawa, uh, the nun, non-powers Iris, first-class fire soldier, second-generation pyrotechnic Maki Uz, captain of the Special Forces Company 8, non-powered uh, Akataru Aobi, and then the second-class fire soldier, third-generation pyrotechnic uh, Shinra uh, Kasakabi. So when they talk about these particular generations, um, each one of these generations has special abilities. So the second-generation they would be having the ability to um, control fire, but they can't necessarily ignite the fire. When it comes to the third generation, which in this manga made perfectly clear that it's a it's rare, but they're up and coming. They have the ability to ignite the fire and control a little bit. So our main character here, uh, Shinra, uh, basically his backstory is that he discovered that he has the ability to have lightning fast speeds uh, when he ignites his fire. And that's why he, he has the particular nickname of uh, the Devil's Footprints. 
because right before he goes into his heroism mode, he has this grin smile that looks like the devil, and then his um, feet ignite. It kind of reminds me of the Flash a little bit, but um, yeah, it's kind of unique. And so the backstory behind him is that he was able to use his ability. However, um, his mom realized that she didn't have power. And or no, they so the parents both have power. So unfortunately, when they discovered that uh, he has his ability, um, I'm trying to remember here, um, Shinra had the fire ability, and unfortunately, it claimed the life of his mom. And so he, he wanted to have a redemption. That he wanted to be the hero that he promised his mom that he'll help others with this ability. And so when he was able to see it up front, you know, he wanted to volunteer for the force. And so he joins this um, fire station number eight, which everyone else, you know, some people have abilities, some don't. But he basically has to prove himself. So you see them go through, um, try to deal with uh, two fire souls in this. And you kind of get to see how they respond to that. And then uh, Shinra basically has to grow up. Essentially, there was a realization that when these people spontaneously combust, they have to basically stab the heart of the soul of the fire essence. But in return, it's going to essentially kill the host. There's no way to save the host of these spontaneous combustions. And so by the end of it, they have this uh, competition between the newer generations for these particular um, firefighters when it deals with the fire souls in essence and so forth. And by the end of it, they are met with this mis- he is met with this mysterious figure that says, uh, hello there, um, oh, I keep, what was the name of it? The Devil's Footprints. And that they understand why they call him that. And it kind of leaves a suspense for the next volume. But overall, I really do like this manga. It it gives me that Ghostbusters vibe that, you know, in Ghostbusters, it was a very unique branch of rescue heroes that, you know, they go after the ghosts and capture them. And it's like, you know, who are you going to call? Obviously, Ghostbusters. This has a very inspiration from Ghostbusters, I feel. That you have this, you know, not necessarily a ghost, but these fire essence that, you know, the normal heroes can't necessarily, you know, firefighters and so forth, can't really handle that type of situation. Whereas you get these specialty force um, with the, um, the firefighters here, the blue stripers. And they're able to go out and tackle these spirit fire essence. So I definitely enjoyed it. Um, the illustrations look great. It gives it each one of the characters had the unique personalities. You got you got the characters that have special abilities from the fire generations to non-fire generations. I felt like the team was balanced. I got into it. Um, there is some nudity in here, so just FYI. Um, I can't remember what the what the rating on this is, but oh yeah, it's T for Teen, and. Uh, yeah, it was a really good book, and I look forward to reviewing the rest of them. So, uh, with that, guys, that's basically my quick synopsis of Fire Force Volume 1. Recommend it. And with that, guys, I'll see you in the next video.